Having recently made a video about the Aldi Parkside iron and being quite surprised at how hot it is by default, it comes set to best part 500 degrees Celsius. A few people got in touch and they pretty much copy and pasted the same text to me, so I don't know who actually came up with this originally. But there is a calibration mode and you can enter it by pushing this button once it's up to temperature. So watch this. I'm going to uh, check the temperature at the moment. Uh, can you see that? Probably not. It's 14.8 degrees Celsius at the moment in here. It's quite cool. That's good. I'm just going to melt some soda. I've been doing so many tests. I have actually completely melted a thermocouple. They are a consumable item. So it's currently at 340 degrees Celsius, which isn't that bad for a soldering temperature. Now, supposing I wanted to increase it, uh, you can go into programming mode by pressing and holding this button. And when you press and hold it, it will initially show a red... And that's the, if you release it at that point, that will let you lower the temperature. But you've also, and I'll exit out of that by holding it again, if you want to increase the temperature, and I'll try increasing it here, it's supposedly roughly three degrees Celsius a click, but I've found that the timing of the click seems quite critical. Maybe this is why it isn't documented. So let's try and increase the temperature by pressing and holding until it goes first red, and I'll keep holding it, and then it goes into flashing green, and this is the increased temperature mode. So now I'm going to press this 20 times and we'll see what happens. I think you have to press it quite quickly. I've been experimenting with fast flash and slow uh, presses, but I'll do it quickly. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. The LED went static while I was doing that. Now it started flashing and now I'm going to hold it and after a while it will go static and that, that shows it's now locked in that temperature. Uh, so I pressed it was at about 20 times there. Theoretically, that's going to increase at about 60 degrees Celsius. It was at around about 300 and was it 330? Uh, but I shall pause momentarily because it takes a while for the temperature to stabilize. One moment, please. So continuing the test, it was 340 degrees Celsius. Let's see what it is now. Can I put this into a better position? I can put it there. It's going to make it more visible. Uh, 340. It's now... 425. Okay. So that 20 clicks has gone from about 340 to 425. That's more than 3 degrees a click. Let me just pause momentarily while I just do some computations. The computations indicate roughly 4.25 degrees Celsius a click. Let's call it a nice round figure of four. So if that is, let's double check this again. And then I shall try and reduce it back by 20 clicks and we'll see if it actually does the same thing. As I say, I've been doing lots of experiments. So yeah, it's stabilizing around about 420. It's probably wavering up and down, but 420, well, that was 425 I said before. Close enough, right? Tell you what, let's put it into calibration mode and click it in the other direction. So this time I'm going to lower the temperature and I'm going to press and hold this button until it goes red. And then I'm going to press it 20 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And then I'm going to press and hold it until it goes back to the green and I'll pause momentarily and let that stabilise. And we'll see, has it gone back to 340? Has it gone back somewhere completely different? One moment, please. I think that's long enough. Let's give this a test and see what it's gone down to. Has it gone back to 340? Has it gone to a completely different value? So it's currently at 340. So it has pretty much gone back that value. So that's fairly accurate. I do think it does require fairly rapid presses. I have tried in the past by pressing it really slow presses and it kind of seemed to almost like miss a few of them or maybe it was just in the middle of writing to memory and it just completely missed some because it will be storing it to the non-volatile memory in the chip here. But that's interesting. So as a recap, I don't know who discovered this. It's not documented. But the idea is that you press and hold this button and it will initially go red after a while but only once it's up to temperature, once the green LED. So the red initially shows uh, that if you release at that point, it would actually go down the way. But if you hold it longer, it starts flashing green like this. And then when you press the button, 
it uh, starts increasing the temperature and then to exit you just press and hold until it uh, exits the mode and it goes back to the static green that shows it's up to temperature. So kudos to the person who discovered that, I don't know if it's documented anywhere, but that looks an interesting way of fine tuning the iron to make the bits last a lot longer and actually make it more suitable for many different soldiering tasks. Maybe the reason they've not documented it is to stop people uh, misadjusting it and putting the temperature through the roof. I don't know if there's a cap in that. But interesting stuff, very useful to know.